Hello all. Just wanted to uh, bring you a, a new video on a wash that uh, I recently just got in. Um, if you watched uh, any of my other videos, you might have seen um, how much of a fan of the reactor watches I am. Um, I've had this, this two-tone uh, gold and silver one. It's my weekend warrior. This thing gets beat on nonstop. Um, when I'm not wearing a suit, I'm normally in this guy. So I decided to uh, take a look around and see if I could pick up any more at a, at a decent price. So I was able to come across uh, this reactor warp uh, that I got in today. Um, so I'm kind of excited about it. I'm going to get it open here and start taking a look. So with these cases, um, you basically just twist to take the case top off. And there's the blue and yellow with red highlight reactor warp watch that I got. So bef real quick before we get into anything about the watch itself, um, one thing that reactor watches does is if you're not familiar with them, um, they use this what they call second life packaging. So the top of this uh, watch case actually turns into a koozie. So if you're out on the boat, want to keep your beer cold, your water cold, whatever you want to do, just throw it in there. I think that's really ingenious idea and they actually have, you can pull the watch label right off and then, you know, this is a, an aluminum case that uh, I think that's absolutely ingenious idea. Um, on the stand itself, this is, uh, it just kind of pulls apart like that. Uh, it's held in there with pressure. We'll set the watch off to the side for a minute. If we flip the case over, you'd see there um, it's a reactor warp, uh, model number 41003. Uh, suggested retail price on this guy was 650 bucks. Reactor's not like one of these other watch, any of these other watch companies where they go nuts, um, grossly inflating their. MSRP. They're pretty pretty true to form with their suggested retail price. Um, you know, that's one of the other reasons why I enjoy them is because they don't they don't screw around with uh, marketing hype or anything like that. Um, extra links obviously in the base of this guy and then the uh, chrono instructions and the warranty card or warranty information are all right in the base of this watch which is I think pretty handy because you keep everything right there. This is a magnet. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, it's a magnet. It just snaps back into place and then magnetically it holds it on there so those things aren't falling out. Um, let's take a look at this watch itself though. I love the metal that they use in these watches. It's a, it's a 316L stainless steel. Very, very solid watch. Um, you know, I absolutely love the, the fit and finish on these watches. Um, between the polished polished sides of the, the bracelet, the brush top. Um, this itself is metal as well. A lot of companies will cheap out and put plastic inserts in here. Um, not, with, uh, not with Reactor. Um, the, the clasp itself on this guy um, folds over, lock it down. Um, very secure clasp, but it's not going to come undone, even if you have that piece up. It's not coming undone without you actually pressing in both buttons on each side. Um, I believe out of the gate this will fit a 8 inch wrist. Um, I obviously don't have 8 inch wrists, so that doesn't really concern me all that much. Um, one thing that's really cool about reactor watches is they don't use a spring bar to hold on to their um, hold on to their bands. They actually use a threaded bar that goes all the way through and according to Reactor this adds um, anywhere from five to eight hundred percent uh, increases in strength for actually breaking the band off of this watch. Um, again like I said this is a chrono so we have the typical second hand dial at the six o'clock position. Um, this guy is over here at the three o'clock position. Sorry you can't see that is counting off uh, one twentieth of a second and then the nine o'clock position counts off actual minutes um, so you can kind of see how that goes 
This, oddly enough, is pretty much the exact same watch I'm wearing now, uh, with the exception of a few colors. And so I'll pull this watch off and show you side by side. One's gold, one's silver. Um, but a lot of the parts are going to be interchangeable on this guy also, which, you know, definitely makes things nice. Um, I'm just a real fan of this watch, these, these watches all the way around. Very, very, very strong, strong feel to them. Um, they feel great on your wrist. Um, they just, for my size wrist, they fit perfectly. The, the dials on these guys are, I want to say, 44 and a half uh, millimeters. So it's a good size dial. Um, pretty thick watch too. You can see, yeah, I want to say that's 15 millimeters. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, typical push out links in this for sizing. Um, and then you do have in the clasp the ability to do some micro adjustments as well. So that works out, works out real nice. I can't wait to add this watch into the rotation. Um, again, I'm a real fan of the reactor watches. Uh, the dials, I think, are just, just very well laid out. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the blue and the yellow on this, but we'll have to see how it shakes out. Um, I know it's something that'll be in my rotation for sure, um, but we'll see if I end up liking it long term or if I end up selling it or, or moving this one on. Um, only time will tell on that. Water resistance on this guy, like a lot of the reactor watches, is um, 200 meters or 660 feet. Don't quote me on that um, because I'm not an expert in anything. Um, but these do use a Japanese quartz movement in them. They're not auto autos, uh, similar to what I typically have. Um, but they are just a great watch to, to pick up and go and, and not have to worry about beating on because they're rock solid. So one of the things I'll do next here uh, in a second, you will see some close-up pictures of this watch uh, as well as some other information I can find out about it. Um, and I will see if I can get a picture of uh, the super loom that's on the applied indices here for you guys to take a look at. Um, but again, thank you for uh, checking out uh, these two new uh, additions that I have uh, brought into my collection. Uh, thank you guys, don't forget, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if uh, you want to keep following me as I stumble my way along trying to find new watches that I like and, and bringing them in. Um, also, don't forget to check out the website, watchaddiction.us, or follow us on Instagram at watchaddiction.us. Uh, thank you all. Have a good one.